For me po, um, this blessing was a great opportunity to learn kasi, I mean, being able to work with Boy Alden, of course, super um, well-known siya, matagal siya sa industry, si Ate Jules. Parang, ang dami ko natutunan, just observing them, just how, seeing how they work. It inspired me kasi starting pa lang po ako sa industry. So, parang, nakita ko yung mga dapat ko palang gawin, yung mga mas efficient, mas productive, and of course, yung how nice they are to everybody on set. Ang gaan ng pakiram ng pagkatrabaho sila. Makikita yung, yung broad na masaya po nandun sila. Kaya, talaga yung na-inspire po. Michael, ilang bali ilang taong pa lang sa industry? I was launched last April 2020. Oo, hindi pa. So, kaka one year ko lang po. Sparkada. 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 Okay. So, how do you feel next sa one year na yan? Parang, you're really making a name. <laughs> Do you feel? Um, I, I feel very. I, I want to thank the Lord, of course, for the, all the opportunities and the blessings. Of course, uh, a big thank you to my management. That talagang inalagaan nila ako from the start. Cornerstone nung nasa Canada pa ako, they took care of me. And Mr. Emmon Sparkle really guided me through my my journey here in showbiz. Do you feel mo na parang uh, you are being groomed here in GMA at the uh, next leading man? Uh, they talk to you about it. Na ang career path mo. Yeah, it's really nice hearing na, I mean, for a leading man, kasi talagang dream ko po yun. And of course, yung management naman talang nalagaan nila ako. They, they will always guide me kung sa next project ko, what, what my career will be in the next five years, ten years. So, wow. they just make sure talaga that they're, they're looking out for me. And that, that really, that, I appreciate that kasi being alone here sa Pilipinas, na yung parents ko nasa isang ibang bansa, nakakatuwa lang na I have my parang parents, people looking out for me in such a big industry. Sabi ng parents, Uh, of course, nami miss nila ako as much as I miss them. Pero natutuwa sila kasi alam nilang pinagdasal namin to together to reach these goals. And slowly, naabot ko yun by one by one. So, masaya sila. And uh, I'm so thankful kasi supportive po sila sa akin. Despite na ang layo nila, they're always here to make sure I'm okay. Michael, atatanong nila ito ah. Kasi alam ko na you are being groomed na at one of the leading men here. Pero nafe-feel mo ba na somehow nagkakaroon ka lang restriction lalo na pagdating sa yung mga personal life o pagdating sa mga relationship sa love life kasi may nababalitaan ako na sabi <laughs> meron ka daw uh, special someone special someone saan paano pagdating doon um well Lagi ko po inaalala yung reason na kung bakit nandito ako, which is for my career. And of course, I mean as much as I say career first, yung puso hindi mapipigilan yun eh. Mapapall ka ng mapapall, right? So as long as yung personal life ko is separate and won't get, I won't get distracted, siguro kung yung special someone ko, if ever, I want them to motivate me and inspire me even more to achieve my dreams. And rule ko sa sarili ko, I keep the work life and personal life separate. So, if I work with um, other actresses and ano, walang mga problems, walang issues para priorities lang talaga. Like. Nakuha ka na I mean, siguro... Yes? <laughs> ah, yes! <laughs> Naka-partner mo na ba, Charlotte? Um... <laughs> Baka, mo na ba? baka naka partner ko na. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, ang dami kong nakakatrabahong iba't ibang actors here sa Pilipinas and mababait silang lahat and I'm so thankful that they've been very welcoming to me going on. Kamu <laughs> Dedenetsuhin ko na nga. Kamusta ka, siyempre, ngayon, no? Paano na, yun nga, sabi mo na partner ka na sa iba't ibang leading ladies and now your current partner in Sparkle U is Zephany. Yes. Hindi naman umaacting pero napaacting siya sa Sparkle U, yeah. So, kamusta yung partnership niya since pareho din kayong cornerstone and Sparkle? Yeah. First of all, Kizef talaga, I'm so proud of her kasi I know this isn't her comfort zone as singer talaga siya but passion niya umarte and she got this opportunity so nakakatuwa lang na um, na natapos namin itong project together. Zef was one of my first friends here sa Pilipinas. 
uh, when I first came home. So the fact that we got to work together for Sparkle U, it's it's super special. Yes. Ano ba? Yes, cornerstone kami and it's nag GMA together at same time din. So, masaya, masaya kami kasi pinangarap namin yun na magka serie or something together. Here it is now. So, <laughs> Mas comfortable ka kasi syempre you're working with someone who's familiar with you already. Yeah, uh, I mean, it was my first time working with someone I've been close with and it was an experience kasi parang there's pros and there's cons but yung pro talaga is that we're comfortable with one another and we're there to look out for one another which is very important. Michael, how do you handle na pinag-prepare kayo ni Cesar? Masaya naman po. I mean, uh, pag pinag-prepare kami, lagi naman kami nag-enjoy. Kung ano man trabaho binigay sa amin, nag-enjoy lang po. But after Sparkle You, you'll have a different partner na kasi yes, yes. Shining Inheritance yes, naman. Yes po. Ang expert ng Shining Inheritance. <laughs> okay, so okay na? Okay. So as a Shining Inheritance, anong feeling mo? Kasi you are the lead. You are yeah. the male lead talaga. So nung in-offer sa'yo doon, nabaka mo ba yung street? Pinanood mo ba yung uh, 2009 territory? And, yeah, so I first heard about it, like screen test book with Kate. Um, parang then I read the character and I fell in love with it. Sabi ko, Lord, pinagdasal ko talaga araw araw na gusto ko makuha to. And I, it's something na ang isa, ang ganda ng yes, you won. And then after that, po pinanood ko yung Kate drama. Sabi ko, one episode lang, just to get the gist. Natapos ko in, in less yeah, than a week. 27 episodes. <laughs> oh, diba? oh, experto. Ang ganda ng okay. Ang ganda ng story talagang ma- nakaka-addict na nakaka- nakaka-fall yes. yung story. So sabi ko, um, nung nalaman ko na na official that I'll be playing as you won, of course it's pressure kasi yung mga kasama ko, Kylie, Kate, Miss Connie Reyes. Yes. There's, there's pressure but for me, I just make sure the pressure is good in a sense na I need to prove the people right who put me in the position and prove the people wrong that oh, will bring me down. So this is my big break to really yes, make my mark in this industry. Kaya, Really preparing and uh, working hard for this. I don't know if you're familiar now with the character, with the por- uh, with the actors that you will be playing. Yeah. Pero yung actor na yan, ah, uh, siya talaga sumika. Ayaw pa na na. Ah, yon, yon siya talaga sumika. And yung telestory na yan until now holds uh, the highest rating K drama of all time. Wow, yeah. Uh, it got for, more than forty seven percent. Got more than forty seven percent rating. At sa GMA, I think three times na yata yung kina. Uh, nagkaroon ng Tagalog adaptation, okay? And then, so, ma- uh, Michael, ang question ko sa'yo, kasi nga, yung role mo na ko portray dito, it, dahil napanood mo na, di ba? Parang first 10 to 12 episode, kaiinisan ka yes. ng mga viewers. Yes. That's how I know. Okay. So, ready ka na ba doon? Kasi, pwede rin na yung character ni Paul, sa kanya, magkaroon ng, ano, uh, ma-endear yung mga yeah. ano, Sa so first show ko po, Love, is ako yung si Paul doon, ako yung good boy, mm-hmm. and then si Nero naman yung bad boy. Um, but what I really like about Yuan is his journey in the in the story. I mean, talagang mainis ka sa kanya if you watch the K-drama, but during the end, makikita mo yung character <laughs> development niya. And for me, that's, uh, that's something we would want as an actor kasi you can add layers to the, the character and me given the opportunity to do that in this show I'm excited para kung ma-hate man ako ng tao dapat effective ganito. no <laughs> so dapat yun din yung goal nila, eh. yes, pero at the oh. end sana mahalin pa rin dapat ikaw ang pipiliin nila yes, over oh. the other ayan tapos ang karamihan ng scene mo dito ay with uh, Miss Connie Reyes mm-hmm, so paano Lola. mo ito pinagahandaan um I started Kasi po ako when I work with other new actors, small talk talaga. So, nung first time ko ma-meet, kabado ako kasi of course legend po yun and nakikita ko yun nung bata pa ako. So, I really told her, Miss Connie, I'm so happy that you're my lola here and I'm so nervous at the same time. But she's so, uh, she's so warm. Talagang ang bait-bait niya po. Kaya, nakaka-excite makatabaho siya. Anong sabi niya sa'yo? Kasi kayo, ikaw nga yung apo niya dito eh. Opo. The cherries apo. Oh. Laging sinasabi niya, ang pogi nung apo niya. So, medyo parang kinikilig ako na, wow, kaya kinis ko ni Reyes yun. So, ang bait lang niya. And she's the type na approachable. And if she has something wrong with you, she'll say it. Very vocal siya. And I, I really respect her. Yeah. So, okay. Eh, palusutin niyo ako dito ah, for my old time pagmamahal. Anong sasabihin mo dun sa karakter na ginampanan mo, the, the actor itself? 
Sorry po. Lee Sung Gi. Si Lee Sung Gi, ano man sabi mo sa kanya? Ayaw pa nga na. Yeah, I mean, before everything, nag-research talaga po ako sa sa actors and sa sa characters. And pinolo ko din po siya kasi sabi ko, ang galing nung... Nandito siya recently sa Pilipinas eh. So, <laughs> so talagang na siya din yung one of the inspirations and role models I look up to. Especially because he played the role as you want. So, yeah, I mean, eh, nakaka-inspire din po. <laughs> Yeah. Um, first time ko makakatrabaho si Kate. We've been undergoing a few chemistry workshops and workshops with um, acting coach and directors. Si Kate kasi nung unang screen test pa namin, tawanan lang kami ng tawanan. Ang gaanong vibes namin together. So the fact that ngayon official partners na kami dito, we just want to give it our all sa mga eksena namin na magpakilig <laughs> and magpasaya ng tao. And of course, magpaiyak din kasi very emotional itong drama. Ano. Grabe din magiging chemistry niya kay Kailin. Yes, Kailin twin ko eh, dun sa ano. <laughs> Any question from Jean Piazza? Ay, ano na lang, Michael. Um, Balikan lang natin, no? Um, did you audition for it or were you called to just attend the screen test? Parang, was it already you? Um, it was actually unexpected kasi I had a meeting the day before and then all of a sudden I got called in again and it was for the screen test na for for Shining daw and I was like, oh, uh, nagulat kami po like ng managers ko. So, yeah, they called me in and after that, I waited a, a few months for confirmation pa lang and Luckily, natuloy. <laughs> Ayan lang, Fermi. Thank you so much.